In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of mouse optical sensors and how they work. Ever wondered how your mouse accurately tracks your movement and translates it into cursor movement on your computer screen? Let's find out. A computer mouse is an essential peripheral device used to control the cursor or pointer on a computer screen. It typically consists of several parts that enable users to navigate and interact with graphical user interfaces. Here are the main components of a computer mouse. 1. Top shell. The top shell is the outermost part of the mouse. It usually has a contoured shape that fits comfortably in the user's hand. The top shell may be made of various materials such as plastic, rubber, or metal, depending on the mouse design. 2. Buttons. Most computer mice have at least two buttons located on top, known as the left-click and right-click buttons. The left-click button is primarily used for selecting or clicking on items, while the right-click button provides additional options and context menus. Some mice also feature additional buttons, such as side buttons, which can be programmed for specific functions. 3. Scroll Wheel the scroll wheel is a central component between the left-click and right-click buttons. It allows users to scroll vertically through documents, web pages, or other content displayed on the screen. The scroll wheel often has a tactile feel and can be pressed as a button itself, enabling additional functionalities in certain applications. 4. DPI-CPI button. Many modern computer mice include a DPI, dots per inch, or CPI, counts per inch, button. By pressing this button, users can adjust the sensitivity or speed at which the cursor moves on the screen. Higher DPI CPI settings result in faster cursor movement, while lower settings provide more precise control. 5. Optical Sensor The optical sensor is located on the underside of the mouse and tracks its movement. It captures images of the surface beneath the mouse, allowing the cursor to move accordingly. Optical sensors have replaced older mechanical tracking mechanisms, such as the ball found in traditional ball mice. 6. Mouse feet. The mouse feet, also known as mouse skates, are small pads located on the underside of the mouse. These pads allow the mouse to glide smoothly across a desk or mouse pad, reducing friction and providing a better user experience. Mouse feet are often made of Teflon or similar low-friction materials. 7. USB cable or wireless receiver. 8. Battery compartment. The optical sensor consists of several key components that work together to provide accurate and reliable sensing capabilities. The first component of an optical sensor is a light source. Typically, this is an LED, light-emitting diode, that emits light in a specific wavelength range. The choice of wavelength depends on the application and the type of sensing required. The emitted light from the LED is then directed towards the target object or surface that needs to be sensed. This light can be either reflected or transmitted by the object, depending on its properties. Next, we have the lens, which focuses the light onto a photosensitive element called a photodetector. The lens helps to ensure that the light falling on the photodetector is as sharp and accurate as possible. The photodetector is a crucial component of the optical sensor. It converts the incoming light into an electrical signal. One commonly used type of photodetector is a charge-coupled device, CCD, or a complementary metal oxide semiconductor, CMOS, sensor. When the light hits the photodetector, it generates an electrical current proportional to the intensity of the light. This current is then converted into a voltage signal that can be processed and analyzed by the sensor's electronic circuitry. The electronic circuitry in the sensor processes the voltage signal and performs various calculations and operations. These operations can include amplification, noise reduction, and digital signal processing to enhance the accuracy and reliability of the sensor's output. Finally, the processed electrical signal is used to determine the desired information based on the specific application of the optical sensor. For example, in a computer mouse, the optical sensor detects changes in the captured images to calculate the distance and direction of mouse movement. 
When you move the mouse across your desk or mouse pad, the optical sensor takes hundreds of snapshots per second. These snapshots are essentially images of the surface, capturing tiny details like texture and patterns. Once the optical sensor captures these images, it's time for the magic to happen. The sensor's built-in image processor analyzes the images, looking for changes in the surface and calculating the relative movement of the mouse. The image processor compares the current image with the previous one, detecting shifts in the pattern. It then calculates the distance and direction of the mouse movement based on these shifts. Now this wealth of movement data is passed on to a vital component, the microcontroller. The microcontroller is a small computer chip inside the mouse that acts as its brain. It takes the movement data from the optical sensor and processes it further. The microcontroller performs complex calculations using the movement data received from the optical sensor. It determines the precise amount and direction of mouse movement, ensuring accurate cursor tracking. With the movement data processed, it's time for the mouse to communicate with your computer. Once the movement data reaches your computer, it's time for your operating system to take over. The computer's operating system interprets the movement data and converts it into cursor movement on your screen. I hope you found this video informative and that it gave you a deeper understanding of how optical sensors work. If you have any more questions or video suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.